What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and I really don't want to make this video, but I'm running out of time, and this is basically, uh, it's basically my last chance. The locks and the doors have already been changed, and I'm, today's the last day I'll call this my home. I, I've lived here for seven years, it's the birthplace of a lot of beautiful things, um, and so I want to just kind of honor it, uh, and, and make it a memory by going through and sharing some of my favorite memories, uh, with you, and, and most of them, in some way or another, relate to Ghost Robo, which is, is really cool. So this might be the uh, the saddest vlog I've ever done, but we're going to power through anyways. Uh, this is the entryway, and in this spot right here is where I recorded my first vlog. Against this wall, if you go back, um, I did the first time I was ever on camera on YouTube ever was recorded right here, and I was so nervous. I talked so weird. I go back and watch that video, and it doesn't even feel like me. Uh, you might not believe it, but down here is actually where I started recording um, my, my main setup was down here, and, and we'll take a quick little, quick little tour, it's sort of a gross, disgusting place, and keep in mind that we've moved everything out of here, and so it's really messy, um, but this is, this is where the business happened for a long time, the, the first midnight launches, Dead Space 2, uh, just about everything that first year or two existed down here, vlogs, and, uh, first time I, I tried live streaming, uh, my first ever dual comms, all happened down here in this like one room basement that always creeped me out. There were spiders and bugs and I tried not to ever show them because I didn't want it to seem like a scary place where I was recording, but it was creepy. I had ants and there were flying ants. Um, not like all the time. I, it's not like I was living in, in a pig pen by any stretch of the imagination. I, I learned to really appreciate this house and sometimes we all thought it was sort of, you know, ah, oh, it's dirty, but it, freaking, it's, it's amazing. It was a beautiful house. I, I love it so much. Um, so let's let's take a step in another direction. This is a little more of a, of a personal thing, but it also relates to Ghost Row. This is the spot here uh, where I walked Rosa, my girlfriend, in and introduced her to my family for the first time. And you may not know this about me, um, but Rosa is my first like real serious girlfriend. I'm an incredibly picky person. Um, I have a lot of quirks, and, and I'm kind of crazy uh, in good ways. So the first person that like really I, I fell in love with and and still loved this day so much. I, I introduced her to my family here, and it was a nerve-wracking moment. Um, and then you guys got to meet her on YouTube, which was also an incredibly nerve-wracking moment. Uh, but this is the kitchen. This is where I did a lot of my crazy cooking vlogs. Some of my first ideas for vlogs were to show you guys how I ate, because I eat sort of different, all organic, all no wheat, no sugar, no dairy, all natural. And so this is where um, a lot of that stuff took place. There's a legendary Easter cooking video that you might want to look up uh, between me and Noah. I made some smoothies, some sandwiches, some toast. Um, and this is where I ate all my meals. Right here with my family, I would discuss my ideas with them. Uh, early on in my channel, they played a huge role in feedback. I didn't have a lot of fans yet. I didn't have a lot of uh, confidence, so I would ask them to watch my videos. We'd gather around the table, talk about Ghost Robo. Um, and then lately, I've been doing most of my editing. You can see uh, right here on this computer. got this nice stand, which actually makes things all, uh, all fresh and ergonomic. Um, this is the room where I did a lot of movie reviews. Um, it's also where I watched all the movies with my family, which is probably the most sentimental point of here. It's where we had our Christmases. Um, Jake, two years ago, he spilled tea on Christmas morning. We were like, what the heck? I took a picture of it. Uh, I think I showed you guys, actually. Um, this is where we would sit and just look at the Christmas tree, and, and my TV was here, and just lots of really good memories. Um, it's It's hard because... People always say, oh, home is where the heart is, and I believe that about 92%. The other 8%, though, is your location, what you feel comfortable with, where you feel safe. And for the last seven years, this has been my safe haven. This is when I'm tired or defeated or just down or just even happy. I, I come and feel good, and I feel safe. And anytime there's a trip, it's like I want to get home, and this is, is what home is. And, of course, my family and all that will be my home forever. And, you know, the things you remember and hold true in your heart are most important, but... There's definitely a little part of life that is your surroundings, and this played such a huge role in, in me feeling safe. Um, I think that's the spookiest part, is not having a, a dedicated place that I feel really comfy with right now. Uh, you know, I'm, I've moved around a lot. I've moved many times since I was younger, and I, I have been in apartments and stuff by myself, and, and so I'm not really, you know, that's fine, but it's mostly having a place where you can really, really feel okay and where you can really feel like you can just chill out, relax, take off your shoes, lay on your bed like it's going to be no big deal. When I've been dealing with anxiety a lot lately, like being home has been such a such a relief. If you have 
extreme anxiety or panic attacks, you know that like comfortability with your surroundings is incredibly important. And even before I dealt with anxiety, just knowing that like for all the problems my family had, for all the problems this house had, for all the problems I had, this is a beautiful place that I felt comfy in, and I guess I hate losing that the most. This is Jake's room. He never liked it when me and Noah gathered in here. We'd always somehow come in here, and it has a very loud echo, but I recorded a lot of vlogs over in that corner. I mean, we'd always gather in here and bug him and wake him up in the mornings because he always slept in later. This is the entryway uh, where I would be quiet every midnight launch. I would gently turn the knob and try not to wake anybody up. My mom's a really light sleeper, Noah's a really light sleeper. And I was like, oh, please don't wake up as I gently and uh, very daintily walk in the home uh, at one in the morning. Um, so here is something cool as well. We're going outside to my garage, it's freezing, so it's gonna be a very brief uh, encounter. But this is my basketball court. It's a driveway, but it's really a basketball court where me and Noah and Jake and my dad would all play uh, epic two-on-two -two basketball games. And I loved having this space, and I also loved, what you're about to see in a second, this giant tree. I was never a fan of the tree house. It's, it's high up and kind of spooky and raccoons sometimes make homes in there, but I loved having it in, in the spring and summer with all its leaves and just the breeze blowing through is really just a calming sound and, and a really peaceful place. And it would hang over the basketball court and sometimes the ball would hit the tree and bounce crazy and, and roll away. But just this space, this giant tree and the sun shining down, the basketball net, something I love, love basketball. It's a super important part of my life. Um, and playing with my brothers out here in this big yard. I remember mowing the lawn, going through these, these grasses, listening to podcasts. It's where I formed a lot of ideas. I was always annoyed by some roots over on that side of the yard that would trip up the lawnmower. But really, that time was so well spent because I, I thought of ideas about games and about YouTube. And even before I started YouTube, I'd listen to podcasts and learn about games and learn about how to sort of... What I wanted to do. And, and it was just... Something that it seemed like such a chore and such a not fun thing, but really I, I gained so much from it and I'm really thankful I did. Okay, here's a silly one. In this cabinet here, it's, it's actually a really weird mirror cabinet, uh, which is kind of spooky, but I kept my protein bars in here. I love protein bars. I have really delicious tasting protein bars that are, are not like the kinds you'd find at typical stores. They're more like, I don't know, they're just different. They're organic and gluten free and they taste so good and I have a bad habit when I'm recording a lot, I'm just eating protein bars and no real food, which my mom and girlfriend get on me a lot for and I have to work on, but it's convenient. And uh, this is a special space over here, right out here on this deck. Uh, we used to have a table and chairs, and that is where I convinced my parents to let me not go to college and instead pursue YouTube, which is a crazy decision. I'll let you in on a little secret. I was actually terrified to leave home and move to California um, by myself and go to USC Film School. That definitely played a part, but mostly I wanted to uh, I wanted to pursue YouTube and I wanted to just follow my own path and not do the same old, same old thing, um, which is great for most people and great for whoever. And I, I do think gap years are a great thing to do, but my one gap year turned into two and three and four um, and and... I just poured my heart and soul into Ghost Robo when it was totally worth it. And I'm so glad that my parents supported me the whole way through. This is the bathroom. And uh, actually, I did a lot of editing right here sitting on this counter because it's the quietest place. And my dog was barking and Noah was going crazy. And like people were so loud. I'm like, I just have to focus and get these videos up. Sometimes I just come and sit in here um, and edit. And Jay calls it my second office because uh, <laughs> I would just edit on that counter, plug my computer in, which it's a little creepy, I know. But... Um, it works, it's quiet, it's, so it's not really creepy. Here is, I don't know, this is like the, the, the most memorable spot. Standing right here, swear to God, in this exact spot, right here, the floor right here, the walls, the ceiling, right by this skylight that goes up to the heavens above. Um, this is where I asked my mom uh, for the money to buy a microphone and told her my, my plans for Ghost Girl. I was standing right here, outside this door, and this is where it sort of all really began. Um, before I moved to the basement to record, I did create Ghost Robo into this room that we're about to enter. Um, and it's, it's currently my recording studio. It's a mess. Again, we're moving. Things are everywhere. So ignore the insanity. But this is where the magic happens and has happened for for quite a while. Um, I, I designed, designed and, and came up with the name and the idea and everything right in here and done so many live streams, vlogs, dual comms, everything right here. And it's it's been my bedroom at times. It's been my, my work room at times. It was Noah's bedroom when we first moved here, so there's a lot of really good memories tied up um, in here. I mean, every corner of the house has, has memories, and 
Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you a good one. Uh, but yeah, this is where this is where the the this stuff happens. Um, this is my room that I first had when I came here. And I've actually recorded in here before too. Um, it's, it's bare bones now. Everything's taken off. It looks so strange. It feels so spooky to know that I'm stepping out of here um, for the last time. It's just a really weird feeling. Um, but I've got a bulletin board with all these notes uh, that my girlfriend has written me over the years. And even when we broke up, um, I, I left this up. And most people wouldn't have done that, maybe, but I, I don't know. I always had a special place in my heart from her for her, even when we were apart, and that's why we're back together. Um, and I left this uh, awesome, now kind of broken, I'm so sorry, Rosa, Noah dropped it, uh, photo frame up as well. Um, and uh, during a lot of sad times, it really pulled me through. Her, her support and love has been immense and amazing. Um, possibly my favorite memory of the entire house, if I'm gonna tear up at any point in this video, it's right now, uh, is the yard. And my family means the world to me, and my younger brothers mean so much to me. Um, and here, I played so many sports that no one in the backyard. We'd go out there um, and just throw the football, and I would pretend to be Matthew Stafford. He would pretend to be Calvin Johnson. Um, right out back there, it's a long side yard. There's so much snow. It's the most snow that we've ever had uh, in the history of living here. And it's crazy that we're trying to move during, like, the worst winter in 40 years in Indiana, and then there's so much snow you can just see it. But out in that backyard, that side yard, I would stand back there by that tree, the big tree. He would f run down the field, um, and we would we would pretend we were the Lions winning the Super Bowl and, and make up plays and make up routes, and I'd sprint down the field and pick him up and, and celebrate, and he'd do his touchdown dances ever since he was... We've lived here seven years, so since he was like six, seven years old, um, Five, six, seven. I, I taught him soccer there. I practiced baseball with him. And I think... <coughs> Colby, you're ruining the moment! I think my dog, gosh. <coughs> I think that that's my favorite memory of the entire house. Is just those moments where I felt totally free. Totally just in the moment being with him. And playing sports and just pretending and, and creating excitement for him and being his big brother and like that's my favorite thing and uh, we're moving and I'm not gonna be living with him right now and that's stressful um, I haven't said this but I'm moving to an apartment um, it should be great I'm gonna make the setup so awesome I really 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 am excited about it um, and Noah's gonna be living uh, with with other people at a, at a place I rented for them help them rent um, but I just, I love my brother so much. I'd do anything for him. I'd protect him till the end of the earth. And so that's like my favorite memory. This room back here, um, I always wanted to record back here. You've noticed I've done some vlogs with these colored walls. And, and I really wanted to to be back here. And, and it was Noah's room and then the foreign exchange student, Matt's room. And, and then I never had an opportunity to, basically. This is the nicest room in the house. And I was like, it's perfect for a recording studio. Posters on the wall. Sweet lamps that look like jelly blob spaceship UFO demons. Um, and I never did. But here's where I've been sleeping the past few days. I've just been sleeping down here because all the beds are gone and the fridges are gone. My dad kind of moved things in a weird order. I was like, I think we should leave the beds. No, they were gone first. So um, I've been curled up on the floor for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to record my last video here, um, which is really just just breathing through it. I, I want to be strong. You got to be strong in times like this. Nothing like bad is happening, quote unquote. I'm grateful that this is like the saddest thing that's happened to me. Like that's amazing. I'm super blessed and lucky and so thankful. Uh, but I am trying to also honor the moment, cherish the moment and be just, just letting, letting kind of all the feelings and emotions flow. Uh, I hope that you guys know how much you mean to me, how much a part of this house you have been for me, um, and how much of a part of my life you have been. And the good news is that Ghost Roll isn't going anywhere. The channel isn't stopping. The videos w will never uh, rest. And, and so that will all continue. And for you, probably nothing will change. But for me, it will. And that's okay. And it's, it's probably good and for the best. And I'm hopeful and excited that I'll just move on to bigger and better things. And same with my family. And we'll learn and we'll grow. And... 
hopefully we'll bond closer. You've had a lot of stress lately, a lot of tough times, a lot of bickering and problems and, and things that probably lots of people go through. Basically what I'm trying to say is just no matter what's going rough in your life, with your family or your friends or your surroundings or whatnot, a, a happy heart and a positive attitude is the best way to go. Look on the bright side and create your life to be how you want it to be. That's what I'm going to do. That's what my family is going to do. And as as much of a letdown as this kind of is, as sad as it really is, you know, it leads to bigger and better things, and I'm always, I'm always looking up. I really don't want to leave this place. I, it's one of those things where I kind of want to just grab onto the walls and not let it go, not, not give it up. Um, I built Ghost Robo here, and ultimately, my biggest passion and goal is to do things that make other people smile, especially young people, and Ghost Robo has allowed me to do that. It's allowed me to, to reach you guys and reach people in ways that I never thought was possible. It seemed too big and, and bold and, and crazy, and now it is. And it's made my life so much happier for me, too, and, and saved me through so many difficult times and helped my family and helped me and really just been this beacon of, of hope and joy and fun and smiles, which was the exact original intention of, of what it was created to be. So it's achieved its purpose which makes me so proud, and I thank you guys so much for being a part of that. Without you, it, it wouldn't work. Without you, it wouldn't exist. Without you, it wouldn't continue. Um, without you, I don't know where we'd be going. It would be hard to to move on from this um, without you guys, and, and so thank goodness you're here. I really don't want to go, though. <laughs> I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go. And guys and girls, you may not know this, you probably don't realize it, but uh, this is the final video that I will be recording uh, in my current home, the home that, that I built this channel in, the home that I met all of you in, the place where I first fell in love with my silly little ghost character that I created and, and made, and, and he changed my life. This whole thing has changed my life, and this place, this home, really is where it all began and, and so I wanted to give it a little tribute because it means so much to me and I remember everything, every little moment of, of where I did this and did that and where I first, you know, created Ghost Robo and, and how it all started right in this very room, in this very house and I no longer can call this place my home but luckily you guys in Ghost Robo will always make my channel uh, a part of my home and I thank you guys so much for that sorry for getting sentimental um, but it means a lot to me and you guys mean so much to me so I don't know how to say goodbye to this house I really don't want to leave but uh, I coined all the phrases in here the hot chocolate the, the goodbyes the hellos and all this is where it originated and now I'm, I'm leaving it behind so one final time I'm so sorry this is an awesome game, and I can't wait till uh, till the next part. But one more time, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.